In this second episode about the fear of flying for paraglider pilots, or any other pilot for that matter, you're gonna learn two things. First, the symptoms to better understand what your body is doing when you're experiencing fear of flying. And second, the signs that someone, maybe a flying buddy, is experiencing fear of flying. Now why might that be interesting? Stay tuned and find out. Now this is part 2 in my series about fear of flying. If you haven't seen part 1 yet, I recommend you check it out. I'll leave a card right here. Welcome to this video about fear of flying for paraglider pilots. My name is Bas van Duin of flightcoach.nl. My mission is to help you get more out of life and your flying career by feeling less stress and getting more skills. Now to cover the question that I went into in the intro just now, um, it can be very interesting to also find out if someone in your surroundings has a fear of flying. Let's say you're flying with a buddy that behaves in a bit of a suspicious way. Well, after this video, you will probably be a lot better able to tell if he or she might be experiencing fear of flying and might need a little bit of assistance getting over that. Or maybe you're a flight instructor and you're experiencing that one of your students is behaving a little bit erratically or it keeps making weird decisions. So the two topics we're going to cover, the symptoms and the signs. The symptoms are of course the things that you as a pilot, when you're experiencing a fear of flying, you feel going through your body. It are usually physical responses to your body or your brain experiencing stress. The other one is more something that's visible on the outside via external factors. And that's why I call them signs. So the symptoms and the signs. So the first symptom is an increased heart rate. Well, I'm not talking about the situation that your heart rate peaks during certain maneuvers, like making those crazy wing overs, going through the air like a madman. When you're pulling those high G moves, like a spiral, it's normal that your heart rate increases, but it will drop down after you've finished with the maneuver. No, but when you're experiencing a fear of flying, your heart rate will be continuously elevated. Second symptom, uncontrollable trembling. It can be anything from a mild shiver, like your hand doing this, up to a more violent response, like a sort of half breakdance in the air. Very cold hands is the third symptom. And of course I'm assuming that you're wearing your gloves in these conditions and that you don't have a crazy amount of brake line wrapped around your hand, because that can prevent the circulation and give you cold hands as well. The next one is nausea, a very uncomfortable one to experience. Can range from feeling a little queasy in the stomach area right up until puking your guts out. Very uncomfortable, also for the unfortunate people walking down below there. And the fifth symptom is shortness of breath. The fear is causing you not to inhale properly anymore, making your uh, breathing quite superficial. This can eventually also lead to a hyperventilating state. And the last symptom is feeling like someone has his or her hands around your neck. It is a choking sensation. It is very uncomfortable to fly like this. And it's also a very obvious symptom. And of course there are more symptoms. This is just the list that I compiled because these things I think are happening the most. If you have anything to add to this list, please let me know in the comments down below. Now let's move on to the signs. These things are generally quite easily to observe in others. So whether you're a flight instructor or maybe just a concerned flight buddy, it can be quite advantageous to know what to look for in other people to maybe help them find out that they're having a fear of flying or to help you get a better picture of why someone is behaving in a certain way. So the first sign is tiredness. <sighs> because stress and in particular fear is very taxing on the human body. When we're experiencing a lot of it, we get tired very quickly. Now, of course, when the conditions are very difficult, everybody who has been flying on a certain day will feel quite tired. And the third one is not having fun. 
or not as much fun as you used to have in the old days when you did not have a fear of flying. Now this may sound like an obvious one, but it is good to include it in this list nonetheless. When everybody had a great day of flying and there's one guy going, meh, meh, was okay, it's quite likely that's caused by the stress or the fear of flying because the fear takes away the joy and it makes it impossible for you to enjoy the beauty of flying to look at the great things you're seeing the scenery the other pilots the achievements it all goes away you just focus on the fear well imagine how that would make you feel and the next one my personal favorite because i used to do that for quite a while perceiving everything as being dangerous so you're very focused on everything that can go wrong, exaggerate these things and you perceive a lot of dangers where others don't see any dangers at all. Because those dangers are not as big as you think, your mind makes them big. Now the final sign you should really know about is excuses. I decided to make an entire episode purely on that subject and it'll be released in a few days. I presume you want to see that one too? Then please don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you get notified when that one goes live. Please let me know through a comment if this brought you anything of value, if this resonates with you, I'd really love to hear from you. See you in the next episode, see you in the air.